Blacktop Magazine presents an interview with John Mearns of Acme Speed Shop at the Grand National Roadster Show. All right, hello everybody. This is Tony with Blacktop Magazine, and I'm here at the Acme Speed Shop booth with John Mearns. And I, I met John many years ago, and just have some great items, shirts, accessories, that sort of thing. So I wanted to introduce you to John. John, tell us about Acme Speed Shop. Well, Acme Speed Shop started out as somewhat of a an accident, if you will. We have a little hobby shop in the back of our sign company, and uh, been collecting original art for many years from artists from all over the country. And we all thought, well, we should get a shirt for the shop, just sort of to have, you know, well, not quite a car club, but just a shirt. Okay. So I reached out to a bunch of different artists to get a design, knowing I might get one. <laughs> and in a couple of months, we had like six or seven designs. Oh, wow. So we thought, well, what do we do with all these designs? Oh, we'll put up a website and start a little t-shirt company. It's very organic, and that's kind of how it came to be. And how long ago was that? It was about six years ago. Oh, that's not too long yeah. ago. All right. So you, uh, the designs you had done were by different artists. Right. So artists from all over the country mm -hmm. that uh, whose work I've been collecting originals of. Okay. And so, you know, Keith Wiesner, uh, Gerald Tidwell, Jay Cruz, all, all sorts of artists that... that a lot of people have seen their art all over the place, you know, right. they're sort of on the car scene and surf scene and that kind of thing. And so, sure. yeah, we kind of keep a rotating bunch of different designs going every year. All right. And uh, what I noticed, too, about this whole community with the artists you mentioned and when everybody else has got Bender Boost at a big show like here at the Grand National Roadster Show, uh, I've heard that, like for Bowmaster, for example, you were a really big help in him helping him get a booth set up. Well, he called me and said, I think I have a design you might like. And he knew that we had this sort of artist series of shirts going on. Okay. And the more I talked to him, I realized he more than just wanted to sell a design to me, he kind of wanted to try his hand at car show vending. So, you know, we jokingly call ourselves car show carnies. Okay. And um, yeah, it's a really neat community. I mean, that's actually one of the funner right. parts of it is our fellow vendors and, you know, we help each other out. Something goes wrong with your booth, you know, you help them repair it. Right. And, uh -huh. You know, you, I, I drag stuff out to Austin for, for people who are out of the country who are going to vend, you know, I'll oh, put okay. that stuff in my van. And yeah, that part's really fun. Well, that's and, great. Uh, yeah, there's room for all of us, you know. I mean, everyone has kind of a different thing that they're doing. Right. And um, it's a matter of personal taste from the customer side. Like, what do people like? It, you know. Yeah. So, sure, there's... So you get that variety for the customer yeah. with working with them. Now, so a lot of these designs that we've seen are from different artists? Then? Right. Okay. Do yeah. you guys design any of your own? Um, occasionally, okay. but mostly... Uh, we just tap the artists that we like and new up and coming artists that you know we've seen their work we'll get them to do a design for us too so at any okay. one time we might have 10 different artists shirt on display right and we do small batches of shirts we'll sell them until they sell out and then we'll put a new piece of art up so okay. kind of the disney so, model you know uh, when we yeah. run out we get something new so get right. it while it's hot there you go yeah. and it always changes up yeah you know this show yeah. i mean it seems like i was here just yesterday and it was last year right you know so i know some of the vendors changed out inside the suede palace and uh, but you usually have this spot right here at the entrance you know we got really lucky and it's been a great spot we're like the welcoming committee to the suede <laughs> palace yeah right on yeah now i see things other than t-shirts right tell us a little bit about that so i do uh, a series of pinstripe cut out pinstripe designs and when we started acme i thought well it's kind of a natural and okay. no one else is doing this so yeah right. we do these cut out designs laser cut out of steel and Man. finishes of you know rust or patina or paint right I think it's new on the barn wood. Uh, is well, that new to you? Or? Well, it's funny. I, I had my former office paneled in barn wood, and when I moved mm -hmm. to my building, I had this big pallet of barn wood, so I started <laughs> sticking them on there, and I actually really like them. It's kind yeah. of a nice rustic mix. you know. Oh, sure. Sure is. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you very much thank for your you. time, John. Very I nice. Love it. what you're doing, by the way. Thanks well, a lot. Thank you. You don't get the recognition you deserve either, so appreciate ah, We it. have fun with what we do, All right, like thanks. all of us. Yeah. Appreciate all it. All right. Well, everybody, this is John Mearns from Acme Speed Shop here nice and at the you. Grand National Roadster Show. We'll see you all later. All right. Thanks.